GML, or Game Maker Language, is a proprietary programming language designed just for use within the Game Maker game engine. Over the last 20 years, Game Maker and GML have been used to make popular indie game titles like Hyperlight Drifter, Spelunky, Hotline Miami, and Undertale. In 1999, a Dutch programmer named Mark Overmars created and released a game development tool called Animo. It was meant to be an educational tool for children. It was rebranded as Game Maker and grew in popularity amongst not only educators, but also commercial indie game studios, which was a big surprise to Mark. Because of its initial focus as an education tool, Game Maker and GML have a low learning curve, even for potential game developers, without computer science backgrounds. To build a game with Game Maker, you can either use GML Visual or GML Code. GML Visual allows you to drag and drop logic together in the interface, similar to how Scratch works, while GML Code is exactly what it sounds like. You write code. Game Maker development is generally centered around the idea of game objects. Game objects hold data and logic for something that will exist in the game world. If you make Pac-Man with Game Maker, then you may have a Pac-Man object which contains the image of Pac-Man called a sprite and the code which will move Pac-Man around the screen, code for checking collisions with ghosts, code for playing animations, etc. At its core, GML is a small, simple language. It has a little over a dozen data types, a handful of data structures, basic control structures, loops, and functions. GML is a dynamically typed language, so when defining new variables, you do not need to specify the type as you would in C or Java. If you've ever used a C family language such as JavaScript, you'll see a very similar syntax. Curly braces are used for control structures, loops, and functions. Semicolons are not required, but generally as convention, you will often see them used at the end of each statement. GML is also procedural and does not have a traditional OOP definition of classes and objects. GML does have a key value data structure called a struct. These are functionally very similar to JavaScript objects. It is possible to define struct factories called constructors and define parent-child relationships between those constructor functions. GML also has first class functions, meaning that we can store functions as variables, pass them as input into other functions, and return them as output from functions. Gmail's real power comes from the core library of functions. There's a suite of functions for things like handling user input, checking collisions, physics, and more. For a list of all of GML's capabilities, check out the manual. And if you want to get started with making your first game ever, check out my video on building your first game. No experience required. Thanks for watching. See you later.